So there's a new Ghostbusters movie coming out, and for something related to one of my favorite franchises, it may be expected that I review it, but instead of a review, for once, I'm doing something a little different. A non-review. I'm sorry! No! 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 Why? 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 Because I refuse to watch it. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And I've, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that it, it, when pressed, I would probably say my all-time favorite YouTube channel on the planet is Angry Video Game Nerd. Every Christmas, I pour through his 12 Days of uh, Ishmus playlist. I absolutely love the nostalgic feel, uh, his passion for editing, the practical effects that he uses, even though they don't always age the best. James Rolfe has always been absolutely pure, uncut escapism. And this is a guy that I generally have no idea what his political stances are. And I couldn't be happier. There's so few uh, <laughs> YouTubers these days that you could say that about. Well, uh, this is the second time, by the way. Now the internet is raging about angry video game nerd. Apparently, it's his fault that Donald Trump got reelected in 2024. Something about his Ghostbusters, his refusal to do an all female Ghostbusters movie review. I don't even know how these people like get through the day uh, with this level of derangement. Not that James would ever want me to defend him, but I will in this particular case because he is one of the few YouTubers that has truly remained dedicated to his craft and. I look forward to his videos now as much as ever when they come out. Uh, by the way, this video is sponsored by Coffee Brand Coffee, my coffee company. In business several years now, we roast all of our coffee fresh on demand. Promo code the quartering to give it a try. I have a 100% money back guarantee on my coffee because I just know you're going to love it. We've got four delicious fall flavors. We've got our, our stalwart flavors like blueberry cream, strawberries, and cream. We've got our silky ultra dark roast. We've got decaf, non-flavor, light roast, dark roast, Colombian, Ethiopian, anything you could want. We also have our 12 days of Christmas advent calendar pre-order going on right now and our full lineup of organic teas. If you're not a coffee person, give our product a chance. I really think you're going to love it. Now there's this tweet, fire alarm puller. Let's not pretend the angry video game nerds hateful rhetoric and crude language wasn't responsible for corrupting a generation of young people. What? Literally what? Angry Video Game Nerd, by the way, had just uploaded Nosferatu review, which is, uh, is incredible. Uh, over a million views uh, in 13 days. His videos, while crude, uh... You know, I keep getting told that women play video games as much as men. So why would his video games, on his nostalgic video games, or videos about nostalgic video games, uh, relate to exclusively men? His reviews of terrible games like Glover, SimCity, and many more, absolutely still crushing it in 2024 when this guy's been producing videos before YouTube ever existed. He created, he used to be a part of Screw Attack. Uh, he is back. He joined in April 6, 2006. Almost 20 years ago, he created an account. I um, mean, before that, he was creating videos on Screw Attack. Now, if you're not like a, you know, nostalgic video game person, sure, maybe Angry Video Game Nerd isn't your guy. But the idea that these people, 9,500 likes, likes, my dude, bro, in Christ, you press the buttons on the control what you watch on your devices in your home. Oh, you press the buttons that control what you watch on your devices in your home. Editing, my dude, bro, in Christ, the things I'm going to say a lot to people now. Um, you see a lot of people in here like, you are a special kind of moron. He has 100% remained silent about anything political. One of the few YouTubers that has. James has, from day one, made videos on his channel the exact same way. Um, you see, I mean, like, are we trying to cancel Gen Z trying to cancel AVGN? Are Buffalo's taking diarrhea dumps in your child's ear? The answer may surprise you. 
Uh, this takes stinks like rotten a hole of a road hill, roads kill skunk down with a beer. All lyrics from the AVGN theme song. Um, it's true. I saw him uh, dump on Bugs Bunny's face, and now I'm a serial killer. Everybody in here absolutely dunking on these Gen Z idiots. Um, you know, James Rolfe is a guy that has always remained apolitical. I don't know what his politics are. I assume he's mildly liberal. I don't know. But I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. He has provided a channel, a bastion for apolitical escapism for years. All this started, by the way, that uh, here's Juliet, trans flag in the bio, Gen Z moron, bo- pronouns in the bio. On the real, this probably didn't help our current chud culture around movies. This was when he refused to review the Ghostbusters 2016 all-female reboot. The media jumped all over him saying he was a misogynist. This is like at the height of third-wave feminism when they still had a tiny bit of power. And all he was saying was, was, hey, I have no interest in watching any future Ghostbusters movies because, you know, when Harold Ramis passed away, that was it. There, there was no more making a Ghostbusters sequel. I have no interest in whatever this thing is. That's all he said. He didn't say it was because it was women or because any of that. You can even see community notes getting him. In this video, Rolf simply states he wasn't going to see the movie because he wasn't interested in it. There was no bias or agenda in the video whatsoever. I was going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he reviewed Ghostbusters Afterlife, a genuinely worse movie. Hmm, I wonder if he had the reaction to Ghostbusters 2016. I wonder what the culture war at the time made this mid-comedy out to be the devil. These people are all literal lunatics. Uh, my dude, you need to seek some mental help in life. Getting mad over a review is dumb. Um, you know, you see, I, again, this is, by the way, this is November 7th, you know, a day or two after the election. Gen Z is getting mad at angry video game nerd, which, by the way, his videos are not for them. They would have no nostalgic connection to anything James Rolfe has ever said or done. You see a lot of the quote tweets, tweets blaming Trump win AVG, on, v, on AVGN, but not the candidate who bailed out a double R word for BLM and flooded the country with 11 million illegals. Incredible. I mean, these people are, they are flailing. They don't have a lot of power left in the world. You see this person getting ruthlessly ratioed, obviously. Uh, a lot of the quote tweets, Ghostbusters 2016 sucked. Overreactionary Twitter MFers when someone doesn't want to make an overdramatic review. Zoomers are trying to cancel AVGN for not watching a S load of F movie. Uh, you have never watched a James Rolfe video in, in your life. Guys, it's been seven years. Get over it for the love of God. You know what I mean? Like, remember that Sony email hack that proved Sony blackmailed Bill Murray into being in this film? And that part of their ad campaign for it was to purposely stir up divisiveness online. <laughs> I mean, everybody in here, why is every Wokey suddenly attacking AVGN? I, I don't get it. You know, I-, I don't understand why these people, again, these people have never seen an angry video game nerd video. And maybe it's just engagement farming, but 10,000 likes is pretty sad. If this ruined a generation, I'm glad it did. AVGN hate will not be tolerated. Lol, nah, AVGN is the best. I mean, it's so great to see the internet kind of come together and and just reject this in its entirety. There, there is nothing political about the Angry Video Game Nerds movie or videos. I've never seen one, ever. I've never seen him have a political take. I've never had him seen him. And, and this is one of the things about the terminally online they think everyone else is terminally online. This guy's a father. Um, I, I, who knows if he's, if, he's, if he's even into politics, right? AVGN is a fictional character. So many times Rolf has said that he is not the nerd. The nerd is a character he plays. The fact that y'all are trying to cancel a fictional, fictional character after Trump winning truly shows how irredeemable this hex site is. I'm not even American, and I don't like Trump, but this is such an absolute reach the fact that the Democrats keep appealing to these idiots is why they keep losing. I couldn't agree more. You know, I couldn't agree more. I don't have any idea why you would, you know, and who can forget when Pat Oswalt got butthurt um, 
you know, that they didn't want to review his trash feminist Ghostbusters movie. I really wanted to hate the Cinematic Massacre Ghostbusters review, but I'm such a fan of noisy, thick saliva, saliva swallowing that it won my heart. And uh, he, by the way, doesn't let anybody respond to him, and I suspect that I'm blocked by him. I am blocked by him. What a coincidence. Uh, again, Patton Oswalt went bananas on James Rolfe just for saying, hey, I don't have any interest in, in reviewing the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. There's absolutely nothing. By the way, if we look at how this video is aged, 225,000 likes to just 9,000 dislikes. So path to Ghostbusters 3 had so many detours and got kicked around so badly that it eventually died out completely. To me personally, it officially ended with the death of Harold Ramis. They had all that time and now a new Ghostbusters movie finally gets made as if now it's appropriate? Well, at least he didn't live to see this shit. My problem I have with the movie, it's not the fact that it looks bad. I mean, sure, the jokes in the trailer make you cringe. The ghost effects are on par with the live-action Scooby-Doo or Disney's Haunted Mansion. You He's know, right. With Eddie Murphy. It looks embarrassing when you compare it to the original that was made 30 years ago, and that still holds up. The effects in that movie are still amazing after all this time. So, it looks bad. Fine. I watch a lot of bad movies. <laughs> you know, I see a ton of bad he goes, he at no point blames women. You know, let's appreciate our AVGN's James Rolfe handled Ghostbusters backlash. Again, why it's his fault that Trump won. I love, like, you don't want to ever interrupt these weirdos. I know James Rolfe isn't political, but like, I don't care if they're mad. I think this can only help Trump. Eventually, J.D. Vance and all future normal kind of common sense political candidates. The fact that you're, you know appealing to the most deranged, idiotic, terminally online people on the planet is weird. This connecting him to Trump in some way is bonkers because he's never uh, had any kind of claim for Trump. So yeah, I guess keep it up, Gen Z. Um, we'll see how that works out for you. By the way, if you never heard of ABGN and you used to play Nintendo back in the day or Super Nintendo, I highly recommend watching his reviews. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.